the Hoops With Us podcast. And today I am joined by a very special guest, Ramel Lloyd Jr. Ramel, how's it going, man? Doing well. How are you? I'm doing well, man. Well, thank you once again for joining me on the show today. And the first question that I got for you, man, is uh, for everyone out there that doesn't know too much about you, just tell us a little bit about yourself. As a player or as my game? Yeah. yeah. Um, big, I'm a big guard. I score all three levels. I shoot it well, get downhill, athletic, just an all-around good player, uh, athlete, and get after it. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. So, Ramel, you uh, you hold multiple high major Division One offers, such as Arkansas, Dayton, and Arizona State, and Kansas. Uh, just give us a little rundown on your recruitment so far. I know it's a weird time right now with the coronavirus going on. So, just give us a little rundown on the schools that are recruiting you right now and what you are appealed to most about these schools? Well, right now I currently have, I believe, 13 official offers. So there's a lot of schools in contact that even that have an offer as well. So my recruitment's going well. You know, I'm enjoying the process. A lot of high-level schools uh, checking in, things like that. So it should, should keep getting better as I get older. Awesome, man. Awesome. So, man, uh, the schools I mentioned to you, I think I mentioned, uh, yeah, Kansas, Arkansas, Arizona State and Dayton uh just for those four schools I know you just said you have 13 total offers together for those schools I just mentioned uh what appeals to you about those schools that you're interested in well they all bring different things to the table you know Kansas um blue blood big time program high level Dayton on up and coming you know they had a monster year this past season Arizona State who's coming up in the Pac-12 love how they play and you said Arkansas Arkansas um, I'm a real big fan of Coach Musselman so, and they're in the SEC, which is a great conference as well. So, I'm a big fan of all the schools. That's awesome, man. That's great to hear. So, Mel, the next question that I have for you, man, is uh, you attended Taft High School this past season. Uh, just tell us what it's like to be a part of that program and tell us how you grew as a player this past season. Well, I grew a lot, um, especially because of my coach, Derek Taylor, who I was playing with. He, you know, he's coached a lot of pros, Jordan Farmar, uh, Spencer Dinwiddie, guys like that at the guard position, and he just seen that's the same uh, things they had. That same, he seen the same things in me that in them to be a pro. So he he really pushed me to do better and let me do my thing. So it was a great year for me. That's great to hear, man. That's great to hear. So after the conclusion of this season, uh, you decided to announce that you will be attending Dream City Christian High School yeah. next season. Uh, what made you want to move? Make the move to this school? Well. The only really was just I wanted to be on the national schedule mm -hmm. and play. I wanted every game to be tough. I wanted to play with guys who had the same goals and at the same level I feel I am on. And just that's basically it. You know, I love my time at Taft with those guys, but I just felt like it was be best for me to step it up a notch. Yeah, absolutely, man. I feel like playing on a national schedule, like playing at a state, it gives you guys as players opportunities to play against the highest competition in the right, nation right. and playing guys that you might have not played before at a yes. state. So it's a great opportunity for you, man. I'm happy for you that you made that move. Yeah. It's also an opportunity for me to prove myself even more as a player and get better from it. You know, I feel like I'm very underrated and I feel like the platform that this would give me will boost me to where I feel I should be. Yeah, absolutely, man. I couldn't agree more. So Romella, the next question that I got for you is, you decided also to run with Vegas Elite yes. on the Nike EYBL circuit. Uh, what was appealing to you about this program to make you want to join them? Well, um, I, wanted, I definitely wanted to play on the EYBL, and I felt that they were a really good program. You know, they had this past year, they had a really good year, had a lot of um, a, a great platform. Um, and I, I liked how the coaching staff was and the directors of the program how what they told me about what I would do at their program, how they would support me. So it was no brand. Yeah, absolutely, man. Uh, their Vegas Elite is definitely known for producing high major guys, and you're definitely next on their list for sure. So, Mel, the next question that I have for you, man, is um, we're going to just dive into your game a little bit. You're six six guard. you got the ability to bring up the ball for yourself and set up the offense. I was watching some film on you. You're also – very good at scoring with your back towards the basket or facing up. You're able to post up smaller guards that are guarding you. You also have a tremendous three-point shot. You're able to stretch the floor 
And another thing that I realized is you're a great leader. You really are setting up the offense from what I've seen, directing guys in the right way, uh, pointing them to their spots, and just doing the little things that a lot of guys don't do out there. So besides the things that I just mentioned, what would you say is your best strength on the court, and who do you try to mold, uh, model your game after? My best strength, I would say, besides scoring and passing and everything like that, I just feel like I'm a, I'm an all-around good player, but I'm just a winner, I feel like. Mm-hmm. I get after it every play. I'm a dog. I, I don't like to lose. I'm very – I'm highly competitive, and – I think that's my biggest trait is I, I hate to lose. I'm very competitive. And in terms of what was the other question you asked? Uh, who do you try to mold your game after? In terms of molding my game, it's tough for me because it goes up and down. Yeah. Like, I, I, was, I, I wasn't always this big. Mm-hmm. So it kind of changed. You know, I would have, like, comparisons to, like, Darren Williams or something like that. But then I – now I'm a couple of inches taller than that. Yeah. So I'm not sure. It just depends. But if I get to, you know, the size I probably should be, I'm only 16. So it should be, I should get another inch and a half, two inches at least. I would say like um, Jason Tatum, Tracy McGrady type person. I feel like a big guard that has skill set all around the court. Yeah, absolutely. Like you just said, uh, for the Jason Tatum one, you guys, uh, from watching your film and obviously watching Jason Tatum, you guys kind of move the same way on the court with how, like I said before, how you like to play towards the basket, I can see where, whether it's a fadeaway or just getting your guy on your hip and then getting to the rim. Jason Tatum is also very good at doing that. So I definitely see the similarities between you two. All right, Ramon, so the last question that I got for you today, man, is your father, former NBA player, uh, what advice has he given you to prepare you for the next level at the collegiate level and for your dreams to come true once you reach the NBA level? Uh, my dad is a part of everything. He's my trainer. He's my coach. He's my dad. Like, he, he's, he's helped me. He's been there every part of my journey. He's been right next to me, right there with me. So every decision I make, he's a big part of it. You know, we talk about everything with each other when it comes to schools and what our goals and being a pro. And he, and he basically just helps me with everything I need. So he sacrifices a lot for me to get where I need to go. So he's a big part of everything I do. That's great, man. That's great. Well, Ramel, that's all the questions that I have for you today, man. Uh, can't thank you enough for joining me on the show. Oh, thank, you. thank you for having me. Yeah, no doubt at all, man. I'm looking forward to watching you next year and watching your stock rise even more than it is, man. And sure. I'd love to stay in touch with you. Definitely. Appreciate it. Yeah, no doubt, man. Stay safe out there. You too.